but it seems to be... Alright, seems to be better. Seems to be like a momentary thing. Okay, so I want to equip this on Oster. He's in the first position, so he's going to eat the most hits. Let's take out the Tung Fu Fighter first. You know what would be really great, Hanlin, is if you would actually help. Maybe throw a heal or something. But I guess I'll take that. Even though I probably would have one-shot that anyway. I get stuck on all kinds of random crap in this game. Whatever. Uh, we want to go this way. I really, really, really do like the uh, maps that are in this. It's very, very, very... Oh, here's the last new enemy up here. The Mouse Flap. And Mouse Flaps... They don't do anything special, they just attack. So, they, they do have a chance to drop uh, healing herbs. Pretty much every enemy in this scenario has a chance to drop a healing herb. The only exception to that is the uh, Cacti Balls. The Cacti Balls can drop uh, Thorn Whips. Which, uh, obviously, I've never seen them drop a Thorn Whip. But it's possible that this is a thing that happens. Um, and if it does, then that's really good, I guess, because Maribel can equip, can equip Thorn Whips. So, you know. Oh, by the way, uh, on the previous floor, if you fall off the edge there, you go outside the tower. So, that's just a thing that... It's pretty much in every Dragon Quest game. Same over here. If you fall off the edge... There... That was a Meowgician. I thought it was a different enemy for a second. Uh, if you fall off the edge up here, you have to start over. So, keep that in mind. I'm not particularly worried about Kiefer. He's fine. If I get lucky, then I'll get a heal from Hanlon in the next battle or two. How awesome would it be if I actually won one of those Thorn Whips? Come on, Hanlon. Give me a heal. Um, I'm going to play a little risky. Because I figured that was coming. <clears throat> and the lips don't hit hard enough to actually damage Kiefer all that much. And I was pretty sure Maribel was going to finish off that Cacti Ball. So, I think it was a little risky, but it was a calculated risk. We want to go this way. The other way is a dead end. Uh, let's see. Attributes. What level is everybody? Five. And Kiefer's at level six. So at level six, Oster actually... Uh, at level six, Oster actually learns his next spell. And it is the buff spell, so if you want to do some grinding, you can actually get that spell, and it's pretty useful. But it's not really required. I am going to fight this guy, though. Uh, but it, it is pretty useful for the upcoming boss battle, because you can cast buff on Maribel, and 
she'll take much less damage. The pretty much the only difference between uh, the boss upcoming here and this guy is pretty much identical to the golem with the the. With the exception of it just hits a little harder. And pretty much the same strategy we had before. With the exception of... We've got a couple more... Uh, let's see, we want to do... This guy has a little more hit points, so we want to kind of cast Sap on him, because Hanlon likes to cast Sap the first round, so now he's double Sapped. The way Sap works is it removes 50% of your total, your whatever your uh, maximum amount of defense is. So if you have 30 defense, which is what this guy had, it removes 15. Actually, I think he has 31 defense, but it removes 50% of 31, which is 15. And then you cast it again, and it'll remove another 15, and set the... The idea is two castings of sap sets an enemy to zero defense, more or less. And it's absurdly good. Alright, so... We want to heal. Use Flame Slash, and... I want to use Frizz. Dang it, Hanlon. Alright, uh, let's see... Flame Slash, and now we're going to hit this guy with Frizz. So this guy right here is using a move called Defending Champion. And what Defending Champion does is it reduces all incoming damage you take by 90%. It's very annoying that he uses that. Uh, Flame Slash, what it does is it is Frizz Elemental, I want to say. Let's see, hold on. I can tell you, hold on. Because in this game, there's there's basically three or arguably four different kinds of fire damage. So you have Frizz, Sizz, Flame, and arguably Bang, which is Explosion. Let's see, so we want to actually hit this guy with another Frizz. And Flame Slash. Flame Slash is... It's 30% more Sizz damage. So this guy actually is strong against Sizz, isn't he? So maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Whatever, it's fine. Use a medicinal herb. Ooh, that would have killed Oster. I could have swore Flame Slash was Frizz. Huh. Now I'm, now, hold on, now I'm kind of... Where's Crabble Rouser on this? Crabble Rouser, where are you? Crabble Rouser. He does have Sizz resistance, so... He has level 1... So it still does more than like normal damage. So the way resistance is working this, so you have either zero, one, two, or three, level three. You have level zero resistance or level one, two, or three. And uh, generally speaking, um, being having level one resistance means you still take extra damage from abilities such as flame slash. But uh, let's see. Do I want to? 
Yeah, let's play it safe here. We're going to defend, and we're going to hit this guy with a frizz. Boom! Because Handlin's not being super cooperative here. So, because he's got level 1 Sizz resistance, instead of doing 1.3 times the amount of damage, I'm doing 1.15 times damage. So, it's still worth doing. Just not as worth doing as it would be otherwise. Flame Slash is actually one of the one of the really good I wouldn't say really good, but it's a it's a very reliable, like offensive move to have. Huh. Oster may die here. Let's see. Oster, heal yourself. Maribel, use a medicinal herb on Oster. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Oh, <laughs> Okay. He only had like one or two hit points left. That's interesting. What? Gasp. Plot twist. Maeve is the monster's boss. But yeah, this right here is what I mean by gut punch. Like, so you have like the, the kind of gut punch where like... The, the, the entire village is, like, regretful about, you know, what happened to Molly and, like, how they didn't, they feel like they failed him. But then you find out that Maeve Maeve is the little sister of Molly. She and we had actually saw her memories when she gave us the doll, I guess. And she basically, you just picture this little girl going off to find her older brother and like just kind of twisted her and caused her to hate this place and kind of twisted her into this undead abomination. I wonder if, like... Because it's been 20 years since Molly died. So I wonder if she's been dead all this time, or if she grew up and then was turned into a monster. Like, obviously, that's, like, questions that are not really relevant. But, again, that's just where my brain goes. Now we have the the third boss against Maeve, and this battle is scripted. It uh, nothing will happen here. Like she's only got 83 hit points. You basically kill her, and the fight's over. Or you can use the wooden doll, and it instantly ends the battle. Saves you a bit of time, and you get a slightly different scene.
So this right here is kind of what I mean by, like, bittersweet. So, you have... We've saved the day. We've defeated the monster, brought the sunlight back, and all that. But, and Maeve, like, she remembered her humanity and all this, but she had to give up her own life to break the seal that was keeping the women folk, you know, stuff. There's a lot of that. Like, there's a lot of almost Pyrrhic victories. Pyr is it Pyrrhic or Pyrrhic? I think it's Pyrrhic victory. There's a lot of almost, like, Pyrrhic victories in this game that could be, like, just downright depressive <clears throat> in a lot of situations. But in an odd twist here, there's actually no more monsters on the world map here, but I think this is the only time that happens. I'm pretty sure after every other scenario... Uh, there's still monsters on the world map. But all the little kidlings and women's are back. Not have anybody telling you otherwise. She put it in a teapot and made a cup of tea. <laughs> well, look, the nun's back. Yeah, he's got a lot in store for us. Almost probably another 80 hours worth, I would say. Huh. I re you know what I really should do? Yeah, we gave him a good hiding. You know, I really should look into uh, Citra, which if you don't know what Citra is, it's the uh, 3DS emulator. The reason I say that is because the next game that I want to actually LP on the 3DS has a lot of DLC, and I, 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 I'm kind of thinking about, like, yeah... <laughs> Why is there a bunny girl? Anyway. Yep. So we did. Saved everything. I don't know about ever again. You must maintain vigilance. Chuffed to bits. <laughs> <laughs> 